According to the Canadian Cancer Society, leg pain is a late symptom when cervical cancer develops to advanced stage. So why does cervical cancer cause leg pain and even swelling? What does leg pain feel like with cervical cancer? And what are the other advanced symptoms? Nearly all cervical cancers are caused by human papillomavirus. With high-risk HPV types 16 and 18 cause about 70% of cervical cancers and precancerous lesions. Cervical dysplasia often starts with the alteration of the cells in cervix. They become precancerous or premalignant due to the HPV infection. These premalignant cells may develop into cancerous cells, and eventually a tumor if the condition is not treated. Many women who have been diagnosed with advanced cervical cancer have shared their experiences with leg pain. When cervical cancer advances, the tumor continues to increase in size. The increased growth of the tumor compresses the nearby nerves, usually around the pelvic region. The larger size of the tumor tends to crowd out these nerves, such that so much pressure is applied on them leading to the severe pain. The tumors may push against the blood vessels that are just around it, and the pain simply diffuses to the legs. When the cervix is swollen, proper blood flow is obstructed from the bottom of the legs. And blocking of the blood flow may cause leg pain and swelling. This may come along with low back pain as well. When cervical cancer spreads to the lymph nodes around the pelvis, patient can also feel leg pain and swelling. When this happens, Cancerous cells may prevent proper draining of lymph fluid, which leads to swollen leg condition called lymphedema because of fluid buildup. So what does leg pain feel like with cervical cancer? Nerves compression may cause pain to both legs or either leg. The pain, usually felt like a burning effect or aching in quality, can continue to increase and becoming severe as the cancer progresses on. The major cervical cancer symptom of leg pain is that this pain is persistent. The persistence of leg pain and back pain can be ranging from mild to severe. When the pain starts running down the leg, it may last from morning to night. Some patients find themselves waking up in the middle of the night to deal with such pain. Check out the link in this video description below. You can see some actual forum feedback from patients. They described their leg pain experience as part of the cervical cancer and cervical dysplasia symptoms. Cervical dysplasia can be detected by pap smear screening and colposcopy. Pap smear test helps determine whether or not there are precancerous cells in your cervix. Patients who get pap smear tests normally also get HPV test. This helps determine whether or not they have a HPV infection. It is recommended that women should get pap smear tests every three years and HPV tests every five years. This helps keep you in the know about the health of your reproductive system. It prevents the development of cervical cancer by getting treatment as soon as the premalignant cells are detected. If the cervical cancer is at an advanced stage, chemotherapy and radiation are often given. You can also check out these three proven natural ways to build up your body immune system to fight HPV in parallel. They are supported by clinical studies and actual patient success stories, including regression of CIN cervical dysplasia and HPV negative test results. Check out the links in video description below to learn more. Number 1. AHCC or active hexose correlated compound produced from mushrooms called shiitake. AHCC is an alpha-glucan-rich nutritional supplement that can help to boost the body immunity. This mushroom extract works by increasing the production of body's natural killer cells and dendritic cells. It also serves as immunomodulatory agent that helps keep our immune system strong and balanced. According to research by the University of Texas Health Science Center, Dietary supplement AHCC appears to be promising for eradication of HPV. In this clinical study, 10 women with persistent HPV infection received 3 grams daily of AHCC on an empty stomach for up to 6 months. 5 out of the 10 participants achieved negative result for HPV infection within weeks to months of taking AHCC. Among them, 3 of these women are reported to have confirmed HPV eradication. Not only that, 
Many user testimonials show AHCC can really get rid of HPV as confirmed by pap smear and HPV test results. This supplement is helpful in fighting off HPV 16 and 18 that cause 70% of cervical cancers and cervical dysplasia. While the aforementioned clinical study led by Dr. Judith Smith only involved women participants. Dr. Smith believes similar results will be obtained when AHCC is used to treat men with HPV. This is due to the similarities in men and women's immune systems and the same HPV strain may affect both genders. For examples, high-risk HPV virus type 16 can cause throat cancer and anal cancer for both male and female. While genital warts are sexually transmitted infections when an individual is exposed to certain low-risk HPV. In this classification, low-risk HPV type 6 and type 11 are identified as the major causes of genital warts. As Dr. Smith revealed to Fox News, some men who used AHCC noticed their genital warts were cured without recurrence. Shiitake mushrooms have been known for centuries for their healing properties and health benefits in Asian countries. In Japan, AHCC is used in over 700 clinics and hospitals mainly to fight against most tumors in cancer treatment. As reported by the World Journal of Clinical Oncology, AHCC can increase production of tumor necrosis factor alpha. It is also clinically proven to reduce the chemotherapy side effects such as nausea and hair loss. With over 20 human studies and more than 100 preclinical studies, this natural mushroom extract has been successfully used to treat a wide range of health conditions. Sulforaphane is another great natural option to fight HPV. This is an anti-cancer compound in cruciferous vegetables. It can be found in broccoli, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, kale, and kohlrabi. As a dietary isothiocyanate derived from glucoraphanin, sulforaphane is beneficial for prevention of cancers, including colon cancer and prostate cancer. Studies show this substance is helpful for suppressing cancer development as it inhibits enzymes that are involved in tumor growth. According to International Journal of Molecular Sciences, sulforaphane is found to inhibit and delay the development of cervical cancer cells. It works by downregulating and arresting abnormal cell growth. Thirdly, beta-glucan. Beta-glucans is natural fiber molecule called polysaccharide composed solely of glucose. They are soluble fiber found in the cell walls of fungi, yeasts, and algae. Cereals such as barley also contains beta-glucan, with oat is a particularly rich source of this water-soluble fiber. Human body cannot produce the substance so they have to be acquired from external sources. Beta-glucan is one of the most studied natural immunomodulator. For example, the U.S. National Library of Medicine PubMed Health has over 15,000 beta-glucan-related scientific studies. Immunologists discovered its ability to interact with immune cells and boost the immune system response directly. Plant-derived polysaccharides like beta-glucans regulate the immune system as they pass through intestinal tract. It works by activating macrophages cells that trap and consume foreign substances that do not belong in the body. This enables the body's defense to attack the invading virus and protect against an infection. Research also found beta-glucan contributes to the maintenance of normal blood cholesterol concentration. It also improves blood glucose control and insulin resistance. Among the beta-glucan research for HPV, Sapienza University of Rome studied 30 women with positive cytology. These patients also have positive colposcopy and HPV CIN1 histology. The women were treated with topical application of beta-glucan for 20 days. The effects of beta-glucan were analyzed with colposcopy and cytology. Of these women with HPV CIN1, results show 60% of them turned negative after 6 months and 80% turned negative after 12 months. Another study by San Camillo for Lanani Hospital of Rome involved 209 women. Results showed topical application of beta-glucan for 15 days was effective in treating HPV-correlated lesions. So you've heard about the three proven natural ways to boost your body immunity and fight HPV. 
Now let's continue dealing with cervical cancer leg pain and other alarming symptoms you should know. Cervical cancer leg pain can affect the productivity of an individual. Most patients get painkillers prescribed to them by their doctors so that they can effectively deal with the pain. If you experience continuous leg pain and swelling at the same time, this may be a sign of cervical cancer that should not be neglected. You should seek medical diagnosis to confirm the cause of your sore leg and whether you have other symptoms associated with cervical cancer. There are seven other alarming cervical cancer symptoms you must not ignore. For examples, Excessive vaginal bleeding is a common and early sign of cervical cancer. This bleeding does not seem to stop and may appear as spotting. And such bleeding can occur after sex and during menstrual period. Painful intercourse and bleeding after having sex is another sign. Pain during sex is due to tumor grows in size throughout the tissues. And the affected individuals often experience a painful intercourse and can lead to bleeding. Vaginal discharge can be normal but for cervical cancer, it is not normal and it usually has a bad odor. This vaginal discharge does not actually stop and may take place between the periods. After menopause, and after the sex. Abnormal vaginal discharge often has a bad odor. This is because of dead cells and the lack of proper flow of oxygen. Unexplained weight loss is also alarming. Cancer suppresses appetite and can cause weight loss. The body responds by increasing production of small proteins. Called cytokines. The cytokines burn more fat than usual and this is often followed with increased metabolism. Even if the affected individuals take a lot of food, the patient still experiences weight loss. And this is a possible cause to the faster loss of weight in cervical cancer patients. Cervical cancer may cause discomfort during urination in terms of pain. This condition can be experienced when the tumor or the cervical cancer itself has advanced to the bladder. If you happen to find some blood stains in the urine, this may be an alarming sign. Advanced cervical cancer can also cause back pain when kidney swells due to an accumulation of urine. The buildup of urine causes swelling that leads to back pain or pain in your side. Fatigue can be felt by any healthy individual, however excessive tiredness can be associated with cervical cancer. Regardless of whatever type of cancer people are suffering, individuals tend to experience fatigue even without having gone through a lot of tiresome work. The affected individuals tend to lack sleep and rest. It is actually continuous before, during and after medication. Patients who have had experiences with fatigue caused by cervical cancer usually term the fatigue as paralyzing. All these symptoms contain those indicate early signs of cervical cancer and others. Especially like leg pain indicate the signs of advanced cervical cancer. If you happen to experience any of the above symptoms you need to look for medical help from your doctor. Cervical cancer can be a potentially fatal illness which used to claim a lot of women's life. The spread of cervical cancer can be controlled, only if you take early measures to treat the malignant cells. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and share this out.